Freshman Marcus Smart rallying the troops as Oklahoma State welcomed Iowa State to town Wednesday night. Cyclones coming off an impressive win over Kansas State. Cowboys coming off that convincing 14-point win over West Virginia on Saturday. Cyclones hadn't won in Stillwater since 1988. Perhaps the 18th time was a charm. Not according to Marcus Smart, he gets the steal and the layup. Smart had 13 points, three steals before the break. LeBron Nash had a good first half as well. He was overpowering his man. Spins gets the dunk. 14 of his 18 points came before the break. He had three rebounds and three assists to go with that. But Oklahoma State trailed by as many as 11 points in the first half. Thanks to plays like that, the alley-oop to Will Clyburn. Travis Ford does not like to see that. But what he really did not like seeing was Chris Babb. Four of four from deep in the first half. He had 14 of his 19 points before the break. Finished five of six from three-point land. But he did not hit any like that. Sorry, you did not see it, but it was a smart bomb. Marcus Smart from 55 feet. It's 41-37. Iowa State at the break. Bob Bowlesby, Big 12 commissioner, does not look happy. Maybe he missed it like me. Second half, freshman Phil Forte starting to heat up. He hits the three-pointer. He did some good things. OSU was down six with 14 minutes late. He had 17 points and a career-high four steals for the freshman. Brian Nash misses the turnaround jumper, but look at this. Marcus Smart, Markel Brown converge at the rim. Smart gets the dunk back. It's 56 all with 11 minutes left in the ball game. Junior Markel Brown, though he's gonna get his he's gonna get his dunk in. You can believe that with his hops. Crazy spinning dunk, obscured by the referee, of course. OSU leads 65-64. Seven minutes left. Brown had 12 points, eight rebounds. There you get a decent look at it. And if I had to steal it. Iowa State not going to give up so easily, though. Tyrus McGee hits the three-pointer. He leads the Big 12 in three-pointers per game and is second in percentage at just under 45%. It's 74-70 Cyclones. Three minutes, 19 seconds left in the game. It's tied at 76, 25 seconds left. Marcus Smart is going to run around for a few seconds and then let the jumper go off the bank. 2.9 seconds remain. It's 78-76. Cowboys, smart. Had an outstanding game. 21 points, 7 assists, 6 rebounds, 4 steals for the freshman. Cyclones, after some crazy refereeing discussions, get one more chance. Tyrus McGee misses the desperation heave. That's a final. 78-76. Cowboys, OSU's biggest lead in this game, 2 points. The lead changed hands 15 times in the Cowboys. Allowed the Cyclones to shoot 54% from the floor and from three-point land, but for 17 turnovers, Oklahoma State gets it done in the end. Guys were playing hard. I tell you, you should have heard our timeouts. They were letting each other have it. I mean, it, it was. I mean, they they were they were trying. I mean, um, it was it was fun to see. Where it wasn't just. I was pretty upset at halftime. I, you know, but. Um, guys were really trying to motivate each other and talking to timeouts. So I, I knew we were still in the game. I knew we'd make a little run at it because they were upset with themselves. You know, when the, when only the coach is upset, that's when you're <laughs> – but they were upset with themselves because they, they, as we did over there and as everybody, all of our fans got tired of seeing the shots go in and they were tired of seeing it. Um, and uh, they were very motivated. Every time out, very motivated. And that was fun to see. They were a great shooting team with Iowa State. But, uh, you know, it was definitely at the time it was a heartbreaker for us because, you know, it's like we couldn't breathe. You know, we were right there. But every time we tried to get over the hump, uh, they pull us right back down. You know, but um, this team has been through a lot of adversity. And that's when that, that's when that comes in, that experience from that. And uh, it helps you become stronger. And, you know, you just fight through it. And that's kind of what we did tonight. It just give us confidence, you know, in each other. With every practice, we go over situation drills, you know, with two minutes left, you know, we down by two, you know, that's that's where it comes in that, you know, we did great. Um, I felt I felt that, that that play we were in was going to work because, you know, we had the momentum on our side, the crowd was on our side, and, you know, Marcus took a good shot, you know, and I feel like, you know, we, we, we can be a team to mess with in the Big 12, and we just got to stay together and play with, and play each other. Next up for the Cowboys, Big 12 bully, 19-1 Kansas, 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon in Lawrence. Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports.